So in this video, we're going to talk about the supply curve and supply schedule. So I've given the two definitions here, and supply would be the entire relationship between the quantity supplied and the price of a good. And the supply curve would show the relationship between the quantity supplied of a good and its price when all other influences on producers' planned sales remain the same. So in essence, supply curve would be kind of like quantity demanded, I guess, because again, it is what it, it, the supply curve shows the relationship between the quantity supplied of a good and its price when all other influences, all other influences on producers' plant sales remain the same. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of like quantity demanded, and. The supply curve is a graph of a supply schedule, and the supply schedule lists the supply schedule lists uh, lists the quantity supplied, lists the quantity the quantity supplied, lists the quantity supplied, and. It lists the quantity supplied at each price. <laughs> at each price. When all other influences, when all other factors remain the same. When all other factors remain the same. So for this supply curve of energy bars uh, our supply schedule each of these points are uh, is what the supply schedule would show it lists the quantities applied at each price when all their factors remain the same so like the demand curve the quantity supplied is on the x-axis and the price is on the y-axis but in a demand curve, this would be quantity demanded on the on the x-axis. Now, this figure that I stole from Parkins and Bade shows a supply curve for energy bars. Now, a rise in the price of an energy bar, other things remaining the same, brings an increase in the quantity supply. Remember, I told you in the last video that a rise in price, higher price means more more quantity is produced so we can see as that as the price increases more and more is being created <laughs> now the next thing i want to talk about is the minimum supply price so the minimum the minimum minimum supply price <clears throat> And what this is, is uh, let's say that or the supply curve can be interpreted as a minimum supply price curve. And what this uh, minimum supply price curve is, it is a curve that shows the lowest price, shows the lowest price lowest price shows the lowest price at which at which someone at which someone is willing to sell is willing to sell <laughs> the lowest price at which someone is willing to sell is an is an additional wait. I mean, the lowest price at which someone is willing to sell an additional unit is the marginal cost, and we know that the marginal marginal cost rises when the quantity produced rises as well. So let's just note that down. The lowest price that someone that someone is willing to sell is willing to sell an extra unit an extra or additional unit 
is the marginal cost. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? I went through this in the last video too. And I remember that I said that suppliers are only willing to sell if they can at least cover their marginal costs. Well, this is where we come back to that uh, ideology that the lowest price that someone is willing to sell an extra unit is the marginal cost. And the marginal cost rises when the quantity produced also rises. And that we went over in the last video. Remember that I said that when, when, uh, when there is a higher price, then, then when the prices rise, I mean, when the prices rise, then the quantity produced rises. And as the quantity produced rises, then the marginal cost rises. And I explained all that in the last video. Now, I want to say that if the quantity supplied, if, or if a small quantity, if a small quantity, small quantity, is produced is produced then the lowest price at which someone to sell one more unit is low so the lowest price that someone is willing to sell is low so in other words the marginal cost the marginal cost is low because it's small quantity right and the lowest price that someone is willing to sell an extra unit well we just define that here that it is the marginal cost so then the marginal cost f for that uh, good that is uh, produced in small quantities must be low it's all larger so as the quantity as the quantity produced of this small uh, quantity uh, th this so if this as this quantity produced of this good that is currently produced in small quantities increases then the marginal cost of each additional unit of this good also increases. The lowest price that someone is willing to sell one more unit would rise along the supply curve. And that is what I want you to take away from this video. Please join me for the next video for an uh, explanation on a change in supply.